What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode of Mom and Papa Joe. Today on the menu is lamb breast, one of our all-time favorites. We're going to be cooking it on the Timberline 850 over some uh, fairly high heat. Uh, if this is your first time checking out our channel, we appreciate you stopping in. Please take a look around and don't hesitate to hit that uh, subscribe button. We think you're going to enjoy what you see. To our uh, loyal fans, I thank you as usual for helping us get where we are. Let's get started. Here's our lamb breast. Uh, my local HEB, they come two to a pack. Lamb breast is similar to a uh, traditional rack of ribs, except they don't come from the side of the animal. They come more from the belly. Uh, and I think that's why they refer to as the breast. Uh, I'm going to take these to the sink, get them cleaned up, and shall be right back. So there really isn't a whole lot of prep work that needs to be done to these uh, lamb ribs. You know, you want to trim off anything that's loose and really thin. Uh, this is a pretty fatty uh, cut of meat, but man, it's absolutely delicious. Uh, it's rich. So we're going to have to come up with something to sort of cut that richness in the end. And I'm thinking a chimichurri. And uh, if I don't do a chimichurri, I might do something like a, uh, like a honey balsamic glaze. Uh, that really helps in cutting uh, the richness. Like this thin floppy edge, I'm just going to sort of knock that off a little bit. Sometimes they come with a real heavy uh, fat cap. These two did not. And when uh, they have that fat cap, I will score just to aid in uh, rendering. A little bit of a flap. Just gonna put a little score in this back side this seasoning is my own creation uh, let's start with a quarter cup of some good olive oil really really goes well with lamb two teaspoons of some smoky paprika, two teaspoons of some rosemary, dry rosemary, two teaspoons minced garlic. teaspoons minced onion Ooh, barely made it two teaspoons black pepper two teaspoons dried parsley and we're gonna come back now with one uh, with with uh, to start one tablespoon of Cavender's Greek season. We're gonna give this more of a uh, Mediterranean type uh, profile. This is a tablespoon. We're gonna give this about five or so minutes just to uh, rehydrate these herbs to a degree. We're gonna give it a taste. And if you feel you need more Cavendish Greek season, because that's the only thing with salt in here, then uh, don't hesitate to add. It's been about 15 minutes uh, rehydrating some of these uh, herbs. Tasted it, man, and it's tasty, but I feel like it could use maybe another teaspoon of this Cavendish Greek seasoning. So I am now up to a tablespoon plus uh, a teaspoon of this Cavendish Greek seasoning. This is going to be money. Mm -hmm. 
Put some on the back side to start. Oh, it smells great. Here we are, folks. Uh, guys and gals, this can be done overnight, and I really, really think uh, allowing this uh, this this rub, this wet rub slash marinade in that case, uh, will benefit your end product. Uh, but I didn't think about starting yesterday, so uh, it is what it is, and we're gonna roll with it. But man, this is beautiful. Smells great. Uh, what I will do is allow this to sit maybe a good hour right, before it goes on the pit. So uh, this uh, wet paste, this wet rub has been sitting on these beauties for just about an hour. I've got the Traeger Timberline 850 running at 275. I'm not looking to do anything special, no real basting or anything. Uh, we're gonna let these go maybe two hours before we come back and take a look. Oh, these girls look beautiful. Here we are at the two hour mark. We've, we've been rocking uh, at 275. Oh uh, man, they look absolutely beautiful feel good uh, only thing we're gonna do right now is crank this now uh, to 300 we're gonna go to 300 for the next hour then we're gonna glaze and maybe bump up uh, to 325 for 10-15 uh, minutes or so to set that glaze so 300 right now for the next hour or so Last minute, decided to show you guys uh, me putting this uh, glaze together. So what I've got in here is a third of a cup of uh, honey, a third of a cup of uh, balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar already comes with a, uh, a, 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 a awesome sweetness. So to that mixture, I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of fresh uh, minced garlic and same thing a teaspoon of fresh minced parsley so all we're going to do is heat this up before applying to both sides all right we're at that three hour mark man uh, here is our glaze nice and hot I've got my, oh, they feel just perfect. Uh, these are, these are ready. Quickly, put a little bit on the back side. All right, that's it, just this one glazing. We're going to crank this thing up to 325 for uh, 10, 15 minutes or so. So here we are, uh, 20 minutes letting that glaze set. Uh, folks, I didn't probe or anything, man. This is all a feel. I want to say these are going to be someplace in the neighborhood of that 205 range. But they feel just so soft. Uh, we're going to turn off this Traeger. All right, these babies have had a couple of uh, 20 minutes to rest, man. Mm, 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 mm. The smell of that uh, honey balsamic glaze is just absolutely... Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. We're only uh, 
slicing one of these. That second one, we're gonna let cool, vacuum seal for another day. But man, that is absolutely beautiful. The moisture. Mm, 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 mm. The tenderness. Folks, mm. I mean, uh, this is ridiculous. Look at that. And that honey does not bring a whole lot of sweet, man. It really balances the tang, the zip from that uh, balsamic. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we got some uh, we got some potatoes and some Brussels sprouts in the uh, oven, and that's gonna complete this day. Another awesome cook. Really want to thank you guys for hanging out once again with Mom and Papa Joe's. Like I said up front, if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, I don't know what you're waiting on. It doesn't get much better than this. Thank you guys once again, man. Uh, be on the lookout for another video coming soon. Also, uh, remember to subscribe. Not subscribe. Remember to stop into our live stream every Thursday at 8 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. A lot of great conversation. You guys take care of yourselves, and we'll see you when we see you.